All right, guys, so my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian, and today I want to talk to you about hypothyroidism in the dog. Hypothyroidism in the dog is incredibly common, and it's one of those diseases that's more of a nuisance than anything else. Hyperthyroidism in the dog will cause things like the dog's not as active, they're a little bit more just like nonchalant, they definitely gain weight, and they have a hard time losing weight. A lot of these doggies will have just a poor skin and poor, poor coat quality. They are more predisposed to skin infections. As well, they might have bad ear infections on a regular basis. And you might look at them and be like, you have allergies because they're always itchy, they have a poor coat, they have fur loss. They just kind of just fail to thrive and fail to look really healthy. If you believe your dog has hyperthyroidism, your veterinarian will do a T4 test. There's a couple different T4 tests out there, but just the T4 test in general, uh, total T4, can look and give you a good idea. If there are no other ailments in your dog, this is a really good test to look for a low thyroid. If your dog has a low thyroid, your veterinarian will prescribe thyroid medicine. Thyroid medicine um, is quite cheap. Levothyroxine is a great option. You may do it once a day or twice a day. And then based on how well your doggy does, as the thyroid comes up, as your doggy loses weight, has better coat, better health, more activity, as they do better, your veterinarian will look at the results, you tell them, and they will look at the repeat T4 numbers. And based on that, they will adjust your dose. Adjusting doses is usually done right away to make sure that the dose is appropriate. And then after that, they will usually check thyroid levels every six months to a year, depending on the age of your dog, how well your dog's doing, and how challenging it was to get the thyroid to work in the first place. Remember, if your doggy has chronic skin issues, if your doggy's overweight, lethargic, malaise, Consider a thyroid, guys. Thyroids are an easy diagnosis. They're not very expensive to get tested. And in some cases, your doggy will do exceptionally better once diagnosed and once treated. All right, guys. My name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have had any experience with thyroid problems in your doggy, please let us all know. You guys take care.